Rescuers are digging with their bare hands to find people buried beneath the rubble after Nepal's massive earthquake. This was a restaurant in Kathmandu. More than 1,900 people are known to have lost their lives. Over 4,600 others have been injured. The government's overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the disaster and is calling for international aid. China's sending a 62-strong search and rescue team to help look for those missing among the debris. The team has 40 rescuers with sniffer dogs, 10 medical staff and a dozen earthquake experts. India was the first to offer help on Saturday within hours of the 7.9 magnitude quake. It's sending planes carrying disaster response workers, supplies and equipment. The Foreign Secretary says India's also sending 10 helicopters to help search for people in the more remote areas. Uh, these helicopters, eight of them would be Mi-17s, two of them will be ALHS. Uh, their role would be to uh, do the local rescue, to do, the, uh, to do airlift if they have to, uh, and to do food, distribu food distribution locally. Thousands of people in the affected areas awoke on Sunday after a night in the open in freezing temperatures and patchy rain. Some used their musical talents to help keep up the spirits of people too afraid to return to their damaged homes. The quake's the most powerful to hit Nepal in 81 years.